let me zoom, zoom in on the Sambayan uh, process, which begins this Saturday. Um, uh, exactly where is the vice president as far as uh, that process is concerned? Where is the LP as far as that process mm. is concerned? Uh, in particular, are there any commitments that have been made by either the LP or the vice president uh, with regard to any decision that will be made by Sambayan as to which nominee the, the coalition will endorse? Well, uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, we will support the efforts of uniting behind one candidate. That, I think, is a, uh, a clear and uh, clearly spelled out by our vice president. Sabi niya, uh, we have to unite. She wants to participate in a process that will unite uh, you know, all these different groups, individuals concerned about the country under behind one candidate. And she also has publicly said that uh, uh, the reason, part of the reason why she's not, uh, have, she has not made a decision is because she wants to make sure that whoever we unite behind will have a fighting chance. Uh, it could be her, but it could also be someone else. Uh, but the important thing is there is a fighting chance and there is unity among our ranks. But yes, will, the sir, sir, the be nominating? will the Liberal Party be nominating? Because that's the process that hmm. will start on Saturday, Diba. Will you be nominating? Are you drawing up names already for nomination? No. No. Uh, we will participate as best we can. We will consult. We will confer. We have met with uh, a number of the individuals and we are in communication with them. But I really don't think at this point that if it's on, if tomorrow, if uh, Sunday or when is it Saturday, uh, kailangan na ba namin mag-submit ng mga names? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, I think that should that should come later. Uh, if they want to do it now, then, then of course, they're welcome to do it. Mm. And we will not stop them. We will not prevent Isambayan. In fact, we will support efforts at uniting. If they believe now is the time to start the process, uh, we will respect that. Going back to, to, to my question about, well, it's the Isambayan process that first gave a, a, a date, no? June 12th. They're convening. And let's call it, you know, not a launch, not a choosing of a candidate, not an endorsement, but the releasing, what, a short list of candidates. We've heard your message loud and clear. This is not the time for that. Uh, the time for now, maybe at best, let's call for voter registration. And that also lessens the pressure on people like Vice President Lenny Robredo para hindi naman siya malagay sa alangan. No? Pero my question is, your part, of that coalition, you're part of that movement. You're, no, I, we would uh, imagine that, no, but we would imagine the Liberal Party has a very influential voice there. Bakit po hindi na naeg yung point of view nyo or yung panawagan na wag mo naman lang, wag mo naman lang June 12, masyadong maaga yan. Bakit po hindi na naeg yung panawagan nyo na, look, let's ease the pressure on the Vice President, move it a bit, we have time, this is too early. Don't get me wrong, you know, we can agree to disagree without being disagreeable. If, if they want to proceed with it and they think now is the time, then they, they're, they're, then go ahead. You know, let, 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 let this, we don't want to dampen also the initiatives of those who want to unite, mm. uh, who, want to, uh, who want to work towards uniting uh, the various forces uh, who are concerned about uh, the direction of the country and want to see you know, a, 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 a shift mm. you know, in, in, or a redirecting of, the, of the, uh, uh, the path that the country is taking. So, so don't get us wrong. We, we, if they believe June 12 is the right time, then go ahead. Uh, we didn't stop them from launching when they launched in March, you know, because that's an in, initiative that, uh, in fact, in the long run, I believe, should be respected. Uh, but... Uh, at this point, we just probably disagree in terms of uh, the handling and the approach and the timing, uh, but that is a difference that is not irreconcilable, let's put it that way. Mm, but, but that does I, I bring, as I said, the, the, the question about who's leading the opposition. It's not uh, an exercise para lang alam natin kung sino pwedeng sisihin or pwedeng banatan, but seriously, people are asking, wait, who, who's, who's giving direction to this entire movement? Because if it's the Liberal Party 
with all its uh, experience um, in elections and campaigns, but basically saying, nah, but we'll, we'll let Isambayan decide when to launch the names, when to dictate it. Let, let's face it, in all reality, once they announce their na those names on June 12, people will be looking to Isambayan as the, the, as the de facto platform for the opposition, and people will be asking them, ano nang plano ng opposition? Then let's, let's, let's cross the bridge when we get there. Hmm. Then we will discuss. The Liberal Party will sit down with them and we will draw, you know, we will draw, you know, a, a political map and say, okay, where are you strong? Where are we strong? How do we help each other? We, 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 we will uh, cross the bridge when we get there. In the meantime, we are quietly organizing, you know, uh, uh, throughout the country. We are uh, getting people to register so that... Uh, uh, more will register, particularly that uh, number of 14 million who have, who have not, who will not, who are not yet registered. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, I will go back to 2016. Uh, if we follow your, you know, your trend of thought, diba? dapat pala si Duterte no, uh, June 12, 2015, eh, nag-announce na, etc., diba? Diba, de, de, hindi eh. Diba? I, I, iba yung... Hindi ganun kasimple. Diba? Hindi, hindi ganun cut and dry. There are processes to be observed. Okay, fine. They, they want it in June 12. We respect that. Let them go ahead and do it. And as things uh, unfold, then we will also uh, continue to coordinate and continue to communicate with them. Uh, uh, I, I, hope the, the, I, I hope the public understands there will be a time for that. But as far as the Liberal Party is concerned and the Vice President is concerned, and now is not the time for that. Not yet. There could be, rather, such developments, uh, political developments, that could, you know, uh, uh, that could still happen between now and uh, uh, the 2022 election. So, so let's keep our ear on the ground. We're watching the polls. We're, we're reviewing, you know, building our trenches. Uh, and again, I will go back to the vice president's decision. I trust her instincts. Uh, she has been a politician's wife for uh, two decades, and then a congressman, and then now five years as vice president. So her political instincts are not uh, are not exactly <laughs> how do you call it uh, uh, amateur, mm. and I will trust that. And then she is our party chairperson. And we are in constant touch, so 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 we will go by her lead. We respect her uh, uh, her uh, decision to withhold any decision or or uh, assess the situation before making any decision.